hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am in my garage, which is currently my crafting space, and you'll have to forgive the unfinishedness behind me. We are still moving in. We've been here since May, but <laughs> it is still definitely a work in progress in this whole area here. <laughs> <laughs> but we're getting there. Today we are making some cold processed soap. So you guys have seen me with my goats. You've seen some of that streaming. And what you might not know is I use my goat milk to make soap. I've got my frozen goat milk here. So this is about 9.7 ounces of raw goat milk that we froze. Let's dive in. So I've already mixed up my oils. And so the next step is to mix our lye with our milk so lye is like super caustic dangerous chemical so it's always important to make sure that you know at least a little bit about what you're doing before you use it so sometimes i'll actually even wear a mask depending on what kind of lye i'm using and all gloved up so we got our caustic soda and i've got my like little recipe plan oil mixture is olive oil coconut oil castor oil vitamin e sodium lactate shea butter and then goat milk lye fragrance colorant for our lye we need 4.82 ounces and so i've got my scale right here so some people will put the lye in a totally separate jar and then pour it in but i find especially because we're working with frozen milk it doesn't heat up as fast and so it Also, the really nice thing about having a fridge right here in my like crafting area because this is where like the raw milk and everything goes. I've chosen our fragrance. We're gonna do a night violet from Brambleberry. I'm really curious what these might do together. So we got a mermaid blue mica from Brambleberry and an ultramarine violet oxide pigment from Brambleberry, and I think I'm gonna mix them together. I am actually going to add both my colorant and my oil and my fragrance oil into my oils before I even add the rye goat milk mixture because I am pretty sure that this is going to go really fast once the rye goes in just because of temperatures and I have a feeling that yeah our night violet does have mild acceleration in cold process so I'm gonna go ahead and start emulsifying this and then we're gonna add our lye and make this soap so I'm gonna go So, I just got a brambleberry mold here, and we're gonna go ahead and pour this soap. I'm gonna tap this on the ground firmly for just a second, and I'll be right back. violet color I think we did a really I'm really proud of that mixture of the mermaid blue mica and the ultramarine violet I think it really came out exactly what I was imagining what I was hoping for when I smelled that night violet smell it's like so floral but like it just is deep it just feels deep let's texture the top I might do more of like a little infinity swirl I'm trying different things to see what I kind of like just like a nice little swirl, swirl. Okay. So you can see like the top has a little bit more texture now. Okay, I'm grabbing the glitter. So this is Mad Micah's Fairy Dust 
Sparkle Plenty. Um, I love that you can order them in the fairy dusters, which makes it so easy because self-editing. There's definitely like a nice sparkle. And what I like about this too is like one, it's biodegradable with glitter, so it's like safe, it's sparkly, it's pretty. But it also I think that's really nice to with like highlighting the texture. So when like these get cut into bars. Each bar will have like a unique texture with like a unique shimmer on it. And am I and my whole work area covered in shimmery glitter most of the time? Yes. But I also have a four year old. So even if I didn't make soap, I would be covered in glitter all the time. Because of the recipe that we use, we usually wait two to three days before we unmold and cut. Okay, it is now Saturday night, but look how pretty we're looking. I don't know if you can see in this light some of the sparkles, but pop her out of the mold. And she is just a simple uh, sort of deep purple violet soap, and she smells very nice. I think I personally probably would have liked to add maybe a little bit more of that night violet scent just so I like my I like my soap to be really really strong in terms of its smell but she's she's a beauty I just use a wire cutter so I am seeing so this side is looking pretty good like it's still pretty soft so like I get a little bit of indents but it does look like when we tapped it we lost a little bit on the side but that's okay because those will that will all get kind of shaved off uh, once it's done curing before it's packaged and so then we just so now these bars will sit for four to six weeks to cure so you can see that nice little silver shimmer on top. So I'm super excited about this for our Violet Dreams. On Thursday night, we will be back again making some more soap. And I don't know what we're gonna do exactly, but we're gonna have fun. So I hope you have a wonderful day. But that is all for us, for our soap for this week. And we'll be back making more soap soon. Bye.